Temperature Temperature Logging Software. This video will take you through the key parts of analysing results in the graph and table. This tutorial is intended for all users. Having displayed the results, either by downloading them from a logger or pressing the reload button, you will be immediately taken to the log tab. This tab is basically broken up into three sections. The graph of the results, the table of the results, and information and options on the smaller tab control. We will start with the graph. The first thing you will notice is that as you move the mouse over the graph, the information above it changes. This is showing the date, the time, and temperature for where the cursor is currently located. Just be aware that it is the temperature at the cursor, not at the graph. You can see this as I move the cursor up, the temperature displayed increases. So this makes it very quick and easy for the user to identify when something has happened. But chances are you would like more specific information. You can easily zoom in on any area on the graph. For example, if I wanted to zoom in on this area, I would click on the top left hand corner of the area and while holding down the mouse, drag it to the bottom right corner of where I want to zoom in and release the mouse button. We have now zoomed in on this particular area. I can then continue to zoom in using this method as much as I like. So I can move zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. To zoom out, you simply do the above in the opposite direction. That is, click anywhere on the graph hold the mouse down and drag in the opposite direction and release the mouse. Having zoomed in on an area that you may want to see, you may want to move around. Simply click the right mouse button, hold it down and drag the graph. It's that simple. If you forget these steps, don't worry. The buttons on the display tab are here to help. The buttons will help you to zoom in, to zoom out, and to have full view. Zoom in, zoom out, return to normal. The arrow buttons will also help you move the graph about. The next feature that I would like to show you is the high and low temperature shading. You can see that most of the graph is green, but some parts are red and some parts are blue. This is where they have exceeded the high and low limits. Zooming in on them shows more detail. Note that the red and blue lines start at the previous good reading and finish at the next good reading. This is because we don't know exactly when it went into alarm, but it happened at some time between the two readings. If the high and low alarm limits are wrong, or you want to adjust them, simply move the sliders on the side of the screen. After a moment, the screen will simply recolor. The second part of the screen is the table. This is the list of readings with the date, time and temperature. Most people will simply look at the graph to see the results, but if you want to know the exact values, they are in this table. To make it easy to go from the graph to the table, all you need to do is click in the graph, and the table will automatically take you to the closest reading. You may still need to move up and down slightly to find the exact reading or date and time that you're after, but you will be very close. You can easily resize the size of the table or graph by clicking on the divider between the two and resizing. The final part of the screen are the options available on the sub tab. This tutorial won't cover all of them, but I will point out the key ones. There are two buttons that will copy the graph or table to the clipboard. Copying the graph to the clipboard allows you to easily paste it into another application, such as a report in a word processor. The Print Save Export tab, however, has even more options available to you. I will cover the printed reports in another video. For now, the Excel and Word buttons are the key ones that I would like to show you. Pressing Excel 
will automatically open Excel and copy the results into the table. Pressing Word will open Word and paste the table into Word. This is the basics of using eTemperature to analyse your results. Uh, additional functionality is available. Please see your manual or we will be producing more videos to cover advanced features soon. Thank you for your time. Bye.